Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. One, two, three. So sadly it is the end of Christmas and I have to go back to uni. Um, I'm actually really excited. I started this vlog like two days ago like preparing to go back but didn't actually ever like do anything like I'm only just starting so I'm just going to start it again because them two like first clips are pointless. I dyed my hair yesterday it looks really dark on camera. But I actually prefer it a lot. So I actually went and bought new cases yesterday because I took my case on holiday. And then when we got back, like properly back to the UK, the case got like bashed and the wheel came off and everything. And it was one of them plastic ones, you know, that you like have two halves and the plastic was smashed as well. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back to like normal cases, like cloth cases. So... They're a bit bougie, but I've got new cases because also my little one, I hate to say like, I do travel a lot, like not like travel, like YouTube travel, but like now, especially like back and forth from home and like I'm planning on visiting a lot of friends this year in uni and I go to Ireland quite a lot and we have to have hand luggage and my hand luggage case, I've had literally for about, I don't know how many years. It's getting a bit like loose and a bit, it's just a bit damaged, I need a new one. So I've got a new hand luggage case as well, they're actually matching. So I got these, how beautiful. This big one, my mum actually did buy because my case got broke, so she bought this one. So it's a guess one. They're actually from TK Maxx, and I just think this is so beautiful. So I also got myself the little one. I just think this is so gorgeous, but I am going to look like that bitch on the train home with matching suitcases. But yeah, this one is a bit smaller, but my one always was like hit and miss if it was going to fit or not and it didn't fit on the above thing on you on the train which is really annoying because I always have to sit with it well it's not annoying because I can't even lift it up there anyway but if I'm ever with a friend I can get them to put it up there um, so yeah I've got these I'm going to pack now I'm not even slightly packed it's Sunday by the way I leave tomorrow I meant to actually go back tomorrow but basically I was meant to meet my manager in London on Monday and that's not happening now so I wasn't ready to, I was going like okay I'm going to go back today so I don't miss Monday there's no need to now but I'm just not ready and this train's tomorrow because everyone's going back to uni. Are one, going to be so busy and I've got so much stuff. Two, they're like all delayed and like over six hours and they're like twice the price. But if I go Monday morning, it takes me four hours and it's like £20. So I'm just going to go on Monday morning, like first thing, literally like 10 o'clock. So yeah, I'm just going to pack. I'm not even going to bother like time lapse in packing. I haven't got packed anything yet. Um, so yeah, and my room's in absolute state after getting ready and filming like hauls yesterday. So I need to do that. So, so I actually got up really early. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Bear in mind we went out last night and didn't get back till about half two, which isn't too bad. But I've got so much to do today. I wanted to get my video up for ten o'clock today, starting the new year, my routine off right. But it's just not going to be ready in time. I've been home for two days and I've had such a rush. So I'm going to edit that later and get it up for like a Sunday evening. But yeah, I'm going to do this and I'll see you in a minute. Just for some um, context. Yeah, so this is literally haul yesterday and trying to figure out what to wear. So most of it is literally clean. I've just got a folder put it in the case because it's brand new. I'm going to make my bed and chips from being drunk last night. I'm going to make my bed and yeah, because everything I've got now that was like out and had not worn freshly washes in a case. So I just need to pack whatever's in this room and I'm pretty much done. <laughs> Handy thing was I went on holiday. So everything's pretty much clean and ready to go in. So I didn't think I had that much left to pack because there's actually a dressing gown I want to go and get from Primark. But I was like, I'll get it in Leeds so I don't have to bring it and I thought I was going to be able to go and get it. But I have this many clothes left. So these are in this pile because they kind of actually need to be washed. So I may as well wash them here, lol. And then these are all to be packed and these are all like trackies, jumpers and stuff. So, and I've actually got jumpers downstairs as well. Oops, definitely not going to be able to go and buy that dressing gown. It is a good thing that I bought that little case actually because that's going to be filled with. I ordered a pair of shoes as well and I was like, I'll order them to uni so I'm clever so I don't have to bring them back because literally what, I'm going to wear them for a day here and it's just, there's no point. But then I was naughty and I was like, no, I want them. So I ordered them here, but they haven't even come. So my mum's going to have to send them to uni once they come anyway. So I should have just ordered them there, fuming. So I don't want to leave my room because I've got YouTube videos on, but I need to go and pack this, see how much room I've got left and then go and stick that in the wash. We'll say stick it in the wash. Leave it for mum to wash, love you mum. <laughs> and then pretty much all I've got left to do is pack my makeup. I'm leaving it because I'm seeing a friend tonight. I don't know what we're doing. Probably won't end up wearing makeup, but just in case. And then like this bag here is pretty much full just from holiday, just need to pick it up. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to sort out. And yeah, but obviously I can't really do that because I'll need like my face wash and moisturizer and stuff tonight. My skin has been so bad. I read it and apparently chin is um don't know if you can that's chin no jawline um i always thought it was hormonal but apparently your chin's hormonal is 
diet, which makes sense because I was in Vietnam and it's like processed. It was like processed foods and obviously it's not processed because we were just kind of eating veg but there was like a lot of noodles and stuff so hopefully this clears up once I get back to uni and I start eating proper food. But yeah, with that, going back to uni and proper food, normally it's the other way around, but I actually cook quite well at uni. And I have the Grace Fit meal guide, the, I don't know which one I have, I think it's the weight loss one, or the just like get toned one. And I love all the meals in that, and I've never been able to follow it properly because I've not given it the time. But I'm actually going to do an online food shop tonight to get delivered tomorrow as soon as I get back to Leeds, I've got food. So I'm literally going to sit and go through next week's recipes in the book and just order the food. Then I've got nothing else to do and order loads of healthy snacks and stuff, because... 2020 goal is to get my 2018 body back. I was just so much happier in that time. <laughs> um, I'm rambling. Yeah, I don't actually have that much left to do, it's 10 o'clock. So once I've packed this, I'm literally gonna sit and edit my video. This is not looking promising. So this side is pretty much full to the top, but I am definitely gonna open this extension. This side is still pretty much halfway-ish, but you can definitely squeeze more in there. But I've got this blazer to put in, and then as I said, I've got like literally a jumper dress, a hoodie, Another, well no, I'm wearing my other pair of chuckies. Um, just like that washing you've seen. So this is this, I can definitely fit more than a hoodie in there, but not that much. And look, I've got all my bags and stuff as well. I really thought I was gonna be okay, now I'm worried. I feel like I still will be okay. I'm just worried this is gonna be heavy, because this is huge, but hopefully there's someone nice who can help me. I get really anxious about going back on the train. I've not actually done it yet, because I came last time, and when I came home last time, I was in a bit of a bad headspace. Um, not bad headspace, but I'd like come home after, like as you guys know, not liking my course and stuff. I was just like, I don't want to go back, and was just like stressed about getting on the train and whatever. I don't know. I was just really overwhelmed and didn't really want to go back. <laughs> so my mum was a bit like, oh no, and wanted to come back with me and like get me sorted and take some stuff back that I didn't want in my room and like go for a food shop with me. So she actually ended up dropping me back last time I came home, which is just the sweetest thing ever because it's like literally 10 hours for her. And she has offered again this time, but I'm like, no, I need to actually just do it and get on the train because I'm there for the next three years. So I need to get over my fear of like getting a suitcase on and off the train and like where I can put it and stuff. But she has offered, but I'm not gonna, I've said no because it's five hours there and then she has to drive five hours back alone and that's just, there's no need when the train is literally just takes me four hours and it's like 28 quid tomorrow or something so I'm getting on the train. I don't know why I get really anxious about it. I think it's just like stuff makes me anxious. Like I don't know where I put my case. Like me and she did it once before but it's okay because I was with her and she had a case. But like where do you put a case on the train? Like what do you do with it? I know they have like racks but like there's not going to be a seat near it and I don't want anyone to steal my stuff. And I know I'm that person. I'll watch someone get off the train with my case and I'll just be like bye. No, I wouldn't obviously, but like, I don't know, I just get anxious. I can just picture me like trying to get up the train and then like, the train door shuts and my case is on there and I'm not, I'm being an idiot. No, it was he? Oh, he always jumps on his bed and jumps on my stuff. I'm about to sort my train ticket out. It's really quick and easy to book tickets and check train times on you. <clears throat> so basically, when I came home last time, I never end up using my train home ticket, as I said, because my mum dropped me home. Welcome to train line. And they said I could change the time, so I'm just going to see if they'll let me change it till tomorrow. The following options have recently changed. Okay, so that was a shambles. <clears throat> I understand the ticket was booked ages ago, but I was just told I could refund my ticket, or not refund, sorry, change the time and date and whatever. But the first question I asked if I could just have a refund, because it was literally like a £50 ticket. My return was £100 with a rail card. And I was told, absolutely no, no refund, but you could change the date and time. Obviously, I didn't know when I'd be coming back, so I couldn't change it then. Just called now, and he was like, oh, have you called within... 20 days after booking your ticket you could have got a refund I was like I was literally told straight up no so we've just lost that 50 quid and I can't do anything about it probably should have called at the time but um anyway as I was saying just got cut off not sure why I do know why no memory so yeah I've just completely I can't even remember what I was saying I've just completely lost that which is annoying because he was like oh if you called within 20 days we could have given you a refund I was like oh mate no one told me this but I guess at least I know for next time and he was actually really rude I was like Anything else for you today? I was like, oh, okay, I understand that. Thank you anyway, though. And then is there anything else? I was like, yeah, just a quick question. So for future reference, if this happens again, there is a potential of a refund because as you can see on the chat, I was straight up told no. And he was like, as I've said, we can't do anything today. I was like, no, 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 I get that. I'm just saying like in future, is it possible that I could get a refund then if I give a ring rather than doing the chat? He was like, I can't do anything for you today. You can't get a refund. You've left it too late. I was like... Okay, thank you, bye. <laughs> I don't know, they must get calls like that all the time and people get angry, but like, I wasn't getting angry, that's fair enough. But just would it be nice to know the possibilities 
But oh well, so I have to book that train ticket now and they've actually gone up in price. Should have booked it a few days ago now, it's 40 quid. Bit of a stretch. 40 quid with a rail card as well, so long. My friend's going back to Portsmouth, takes four hours as well for literally like nine pound or something ridiculous. Hello vlog friends. You're actually in the setup for a video now. It's been a while. I did an online food shop from Asda and not happy because I got to the end of it and there was no vegan chicken corn pieces which is literally the only reason I was doing the freaking shop so I went through with it anyway because I'd already got it all so tomorrow I think we're gonna go to Tesco and we're gonna like get them and try and bring them back in a freezer bag and if they stay frozen cool if they don't I guess can't eat them but I'm gonna try and do that because honestly people have said this in my video before but Leeds has a drought of corn like Corn vegan chicken pieces, like just the pieces, are not a thing anywhere. And I tried the Ison one and I said in a video they're good. But there's something weird about them. I don't love them. I just want I just want corn back. I feel like pure shit just want her back. So I did that and then I went to edit a video and which is for a brand due tomorrow. So oops for me leaving it a bit last minute, but I agreed to it while I was on holiday, so technically I had a few weeks to it, but I was on holiday, so I didn't want to be filming like a uni video because the brand is super relevant and I really like them but I didn't want to include it in like a really random holiday vlog so I did a sit down uni Q&A um, yesterday and included it in that and the whole thing is weirdly lit and out of focus and looks like shit so I filmed that again and I also filmed a PLT haul yesterday I just have to film that again because it looks awful which is annoying, wish I realised if I realised the first video looked bad I shouldn't have filmed the second one but I didn't realise. So I just had to do that as well. It's a bit later now. It's still really early though. It's 3.50. Amy finishes work at half four. Um, so I think I'm just gonna tell her to come around and we'll watch a film because my dad's cooking a roast dinner and I want a roast dinner. So there's no point going out for food. Um, and she doesn't live that far away and she drives. So I think I'm just gonna be like, come and chill. But do I have anything else to update you on? Packing is going well. Mum just gave me a whole nother lot to pack. So I'm just gonna put that in the bag and see what's happening with that. Oh, smell that roast. I don't have my hair as well. I don't come if I told you, but I literally am in love with it. Oh, I love these cases so much. They are so cute. It's annoying that I'm gonna have to literally get to Leeds and then like take all of this out and like hang it out. You know when you like pack and things are different sizes and you end up with like this? Like a weird gap in between. Because you know you do like one, 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 one. Maybe you don't, but that's what I do. This is looking good. So this is the suitcase. Let me turn you around. <laughs> this is the suitcase, as you can see now. It's getting pretty much level. Not completely still. I've got some room, but it's getting pretty much level. And there's not actually anything else to go in. This camera is getting really old now. <gasps> Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, I was meant to screw a screw into the camera and I've lost it. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna go see if mum has like a... Um, anyway. Don't actually think there's anything else to go in except from like this blazer here and like makeup, but clothes wise, I think we're done and there's nothing in the little case. So I think I'm gonna get my mum to take me quest across tomorrow and get the dressing gown. But then again, I might not be able to fit my makeup in here, so my makeup might have to go in the little case. But oh my god, I'm obsessed with these cases so much, they're so great. Can't wait to get Instagram in them. I'm gonna wear these joggers, yeah, with this. Get a little pick, little white top, cute. I'm going to put last minute bits in here, double check there's no more clothes I want to put in, and yeah. And we're nearly packed, my dad's cooking a roast, as I said, very exciting, very exciting to go back, everybody's nearly home. Don't know if Gabby's back yet actually, I keep thinking this later than it is, because I literally woke up at like 7 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why I'm talking so much. My mum washed my trainers as well, they look really good. Look, mum's stuck them in the washing machine, how good they look? Yeah, and spanking new, actually, need to pack both of them. I'm um, genius, just to fix my own camera, so I took the screw out of these fake rope bands from about 100 years ago and screwed it in with a little sungla sunglasses screwdriver. So, you know, I'm back and sturdy and better than ever. I'm going to tighten the other side, actually. So, it's much later now, as you've seen, Amy came round and I completely forgot to vlog and then we were going to KFC and I was like, okay, I'll vlog and then I actually forgot to bring my camera. But it's what now, like nearly 11? Oh no, it's only half 10. So I'm just trying to finish off, sorry, that was that focus, my pack in. Try and just tidy up my room a bit. There's nothing left in this room now except for makeup and stuff. I'll show you the other room. My camera battery's flashing, so sorry if it turns off. But the suitcase is pretty much full, although if we close it, it easily closes and there's an extension. So we've still got a lot of room. This one's completely empty and it's just kind of shoes and bags and as I said, makeup. But I don't have that much with me. So my camera battery's flashing. I'm gonna finish this now. Actually, I'll just change over my battery. I'll just change over my battery if I have anything else to say. But I'm just going to sit and edit a video after sorting out my makeup, kind of just ready to zip up tomorrow morning and head on back to Leeds. So if anything important happens, I'll catch you. 
late tonight. But other than that, I'll see you tomorrow morning when I have to actually leave. Good morning. So it is next morning, the morning I leave. It's eight o'clock. I've got up to edit this video because I didn't edit it yesterday because I was so tired. So I'm going to edit this. It's only a quick, like, sit down video and I was quite snappy when I was doing it. So, as I said, I have to, had to refilm it. So it shouldn't take me more than literally 40 minutes. Hello. So it's a bit late now. It's 10 part, no, 10 to 10, sorry. The video's all edited and I'm airdropping it to my phone because I can't upload on Wi-Fi on my house. It's too slow. So I've got that edge up on my phone to do it on 4G. I didn't want to take my SD card out and vlog in between then because I'm scared of taking it out my laptop. I have another one, but I didn't want to confuse it. Anyway, I am now dressed. OOTD. It's actually all PLT. So this is a PLT top, PLT joggers, obviously night trainers, but whatevs. And then I haven't actually eaten yet, so I'm going to go and have some breakfast. My cases are looking very, very full. Yeah, but for now, I'm going to leave this video to upload and yeah just try and find no try and try and find space to fit everything in so i'll catch you when i do something worth vlogging right ti this is the scenes right now no food has been brought back because we've got no room big case completely full ready to be shut oh i was just meant to bring my dry shampoo and i think i forgot it oh no i've already put it in so this can now be shut it's pretty full i mean it's obviously gonna close it's like not actually that full um but yeah we did well to be honest i really really didn't think we'd fit into two cases but here we are it's a good day um i'm excited to get a pick exactly oh oh i need to grab my trousers from downstairs and then i leave in about 40 minutes and then i've got hours and hours on the train yes i'm gonna zip up these cases get my mum to take a photo lol and then off we go i don't know what i'm gonna do for the last 40 minutes that video Basically, it wouldn't airdrop to my phone, so that is still uploading on my laptop, which is annoying, but whatever. Bags packed and zipped. Very heavy. I tried to pick this one up and I fell. I actually picked it up and I literally fell. You're not in it. Literally fell. Literally fell over. Fell to the ground. They've both got the extensions on, so this one's a bit that way heavy. Don't, Mac. <laughs> and even this one's a bit heavy, actually, you know. 